Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. So today I am filming a, well, I, I filmed a makeup tutorial already for you guys. So that's going to be up either this Wednesday or the following Wednesday. I think it's going to be, actually, it might have been this past Wednesday now for you guys. I don't know. But you guys will see it soon. I really wanted to film a makeup tutorial so that I could get your, like, opinions on makeup. So we shall see how that does and if you guys have any sort of tips for me. But other than that today, I don't really have anything planned, but now that I have makeup on, I'm like, I kind of want to do something, you know. And tomorrow is the Super Bowl, so we're going to go spend the evening with Caitlin and Brandon, and we're going to get chicken wings. I'm so excited, you guys. Literally, buffalo wings are my favorite thing on planet Earth, and I haven't had them in over a year at this point. It's been so long since I've had wings. And I'm from New York, so, you know, that's an issue for me because wings are my favorite thing ever. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. I really wish I could get out of the house, you guys. It is so beautiful out. The sun is shining so bright. And, yeah, I'm frustrated that I'm stuck inside. <laughs> but I think I'll sit on the porch with Sunday in a little bit. And I don't know. I, feel, I always feel like a thousand times better when I get up and do my makeup and, like, do my hair. And now my foot is just starting to feel better enough to, like be able to do that like I actually like I my foot feels fine right now and it's it's a little elevated but it's not completely elevated so that's amazing now I'm just like what do I do for the rest of the day then now that I'm all freaking dolled up I'd love to go for a drive but we haven't gotten the car fixed yet you guys so Dominic we haven't gotten the tire fixed remember it got popped like literally two weeks ago whenever my foot thing happened but then my foot thing happened the following day after my tire got popped or maybe it was the same day now that I think of it the same day that's why I freaked out too when when my foot thing happened because I was like oh my god I feel so upset that everything's going wrong right now but anyway I'm pretty sure Dominic's putting that off getting the tire fixed because he doesn't want me to go driving somewhere which I would for sure <laughs> because I just want to so bad but I probably wouldn't to be honest because I'd be afraid of like getting in an accident or something because of my foot but he um I'm sure that's what he's worried about as well. So I'm sure that's why he keeps putting the getting the tire fixed off. Also, he kind of needs me to help him bring the car to get the tire changed. So that's probably another reason as well. But I really want to plan something special for Dominic too for Valentine's Day. And it's literally right around the corner. I cannot believe it's already the 6th. Oh, it looks like my mom wants to talk on the phone so I suppose I have to go but I will talk to you guys a little bit later today and catch up with you guys on what I do for the rest of the day hey guys so it's later now as you can see my curls kind of dropped which I'm surprised by because they don't normally drop that quickly but it's quite a bit later now Oh, I'm tired apparently and I didn't really do very much today honestly I sat around and I actually watched what is that show called um P.S. I love you or not P.S. I love you to all the boys I loved before because the second one or the third one is coming out on the 12th I think so I wanted to rewatch the first and the second one because I just love those movies but yeah bummed like why is it like this it, it literally looks straight to be honest at this point anyway I just got this in the mail and I'm in the bathroom right now by the way because I'm gonna try on these headbands that I just got and I wanted to show you guys them open these up here Smell kind of funky. Hmm. They're pearl headbands. I actually found a new YouTuber last week. I think her name's Jen or something like that. I don't remember what her name is actually, but Jen Styles or something. But she had these headbands in her videos, and wow, cute! How cute is that? It was $8.99 for all three of these colored head headbands. And they're nice colors, too. So it's got, like, a dusty pink color, a black, a mustardy yellow color. It's great for fall. And then this really pretty white one. So let's see what these look like here. Wow. Okay, it's a little bit... <laughs> okay, it's a little bit pearl overload with my pearl earrings as well. But they are really cute. How cute is this? 
So yeah, I really like that. I'll actually try the other colors on for you too, but for eight nine come on in. For eight ninety nine, like that's oh, can you even see it? Sorry, I was looking at myself in the mirror and then I didn't I don't know if you guys can see it even. But for eight ninety nine, that is not a bad price for four headbands that are like this well made. They're really actually very well made. So let's see. And they don't feel like they're gonna give me a headache, you know how sometimes like headbands are so tight to your head that it feels like they're gonna give you a headache. Wow, I love this. How cute is this? That's adorable. Cute. I love it. I even love this mustard color. It looks really, really pretty. Wow, okay. So highly recommend these. $8.99, like I said. Let's do the black next. Because I think I'm going to like the dusky pink best. Okay, the black one is nice, but it could use some work. I, I don't know what's going on with this black one. It's tighter than the other ones. I think I'd... I think I just have to like stretch it out maybe or something. I don't know why it would be so, oh, you know why? Because the way that they were packaged, that makes a lot of sense actually. The way they were packaged, the black one was on the inside. So it'll just take probably a bit to get it like stretched out so that it will fit my head and not be too bad. But the black one's cute too. How pretty is this? I love it, so pretty. And then we'll do the dusty pink one. There we go, that's much better. That black one is definitely has some issues when it comes to how tight it is on my head. But yeah, so that's super cute. I'm extremely pleased for $8.99, like you really can't go wrong. I have a couple of other headbands that I bought a long time ago. They're like these types of things. Sorry, I have hair all in them because I wear them. And I really don't wear them all that often, but I think I'd wear these a lot more because they actually like, I don't know, they're just a lot more comfortable, so. Yeah, very pretty. Nice little sprucer upper of the look. You guys, I should really do a video where I organize my <laughs> cabinet space in my bathroom because, like, it's a hot mess. Hot mess express up in here. So, that's what's going on now. I'm just waiting for Dominic to come home, and then we are going to eat dinner. He's bringing home a bunch of stuff for me to make buffalo chicken dip. So I'm really excited about that because I want to bring that with us to the Super Bowl game. So, well, we're probably not going to be to the Super Bowl game on time because Dominic doesn't get out, out of work till later. But we did get good news, you guys. I know that I mentioned in, did I mention it yesterday? I think I did. No, last week's video that something good happened. Well, he got moved on to the next round of the something good that we were talking about. So I'm super excited about that. And I just can't wait to see, hopefully, like fingers crossed everybody that he moves on and that it's good news all around. I know like I'm giving you very minimal details, but I just don't want to share his business on here. But it's a good thing. Whatever whatever happens, we'll be fine. And we, we have learned that through all the like processes of like job changes and stuff like that. We've learned that like no matter what, it always happens for a reason. But yeah, I hope that this is ends up positive, I suppose you could say. I'm waiting for him now. I'm supposed to make him a list of stuff that I need him to pick up. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I don't know, I always say I'm gonna let you guys go like you don't wanna hang with me, <laughs> but you know how it is. I'm one of those people that when you're like on the phone for a long time, like my way of getting off the phone is, well, I know you're busy, so I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> I just don't know how to end the conversation any other way. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> so Dominic made us some chicken and rice tonight how pretty it looks he plated it super beautifully hello you guys so it's super bowl sunday now and i am home as you can see super bowl has started already at six o'clock at night and dominic had to work so he thought he was gonna be able to be off early so that we could go and hang out with brandon and caitlin and he ended up having to stay and close so that was kind of a bummer but it's nothing new new in the life here so originally we were gonna go and like we were still gonna go to brandon and caitlin's because we um obviously like had planned to go hang out with them so we were gonna go over there well i was gonna caitlin was gonna come pick me up because obviously i can't drive and she was going to bring me there and then dominic was gonna meet us there and obviously dominic and i would drive home together at night but then with him getting off late like i don't know we decided we're probably just gonna have to go tomorrow or something to their house because it's just going to be so late that 
I don't know. It's just not, we're not going to have a lot of time to hang out. And, like, the game's probably already going to be almost over. So, basically, Caitlin suggested that she come over here and bring the food tonight. And then tomorrow we can all hang out at their house. So, that's the plan because Dominic has off tomorrow. But we shall see how that goes. I'm just, I'm kind of bummed because, like, I was super excited about the Super Bowl. Because we, we don't really do anything for the Super Bowl ever. The last time we celebrated was with my dad. And that was, like, three or four years ago now. So, it's a bummer. And Dominic was super excited because he loves Brady. And he's worried that this is Brady's last game or last Super Bowl or something. I don't know exactly. But, so he's bummed that he didn't get to watch it. And I'm bummed that we didn't get to go there. And I'm bummed that he didn't get to watch it either. So, that is what's going on now. Caitlin is on her way here. We are actually going to do something very different than the Super Bowl. We're going to watch the new, like, documentary on Netflix about Free Britney or whatever it is. So, that should be really interesting. You guys know I love those documentaries. If you guys don't remember me mentioning the Paris Hilton one, if you guys haven't been along that or around that long, highly recommend the Paris Hilton documentary on Hulu. or No, it's on YouTube, actually. So good. Oh, my gosh. I cannot rave enough about it. I actually want to rewatch it. I just finished the P.S. I Love You. Or why do I keep calling it P.S. I Love You in this? I just finished the To All the Boys I Loved Before movie. So, I'm probably going to watch the second one. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Maybe not. I'll probably watch it on my own. But we shall see. So that's what's going on. Caitlin just texted me though, you guys. And she said that her and Brandon tried the food. And she was like, it's not good. So we're not going to make you pay or anything. Like, don't you don't have to pay because, like, the food sucks. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, just because the food's not good doesn't mean we didn't order some food. Like, it, that would be like going to a restaurant and being like, this food's shit. We don't want to pay. <laughs> So, I don't know. We're just, we're very lucky with those types of friends that, like, I don't know. And that's just, like, the nicest thing ever. But I feel like you learn so much from people. Like, I feel like, I don't know, we've probably grown a lot from, like, having them as friends. Because in the past, I don't think we would have been those types of people either. But I think after, ha like, when you have friends like that, it's just, like, I don't know. You Your energy feeds off of each other and they really are, they make us better people, I suppose you could say. In more ways than just that, obviously. But... Anyway, <laughs> oh, speaking of, I really wanted to show you guys what they got, uh, Dominic and I. I'll have to show you guys that another day, what they got us for Christmas. I completely forgot, and it's over somewhere else, and I just literally can't stand right now. I had to clean the house, you guys, with my, um, sprained foot, which was an interesting task. My foot definitely hurts now, but I really didn't have to clean it, but you know. You know how it is when you have company coming over. You want to you want to clean the house for them. <laughs> so, we're going to do that tonight. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that that that's what's occurring in this neck of the woods <laughs> good morning you guys another day another moment of me sitting on my couch forever uh <laughs> i just woke up i still have to get ready and stuff but oh my i'm sorry i feel like i'm always yawning with you guys i apologize but i wanted to show you guys my thing that i mentioned last night that my friend or our friends caitlin and brandon got me it is so cute literally the cutest thing ever and it's like a custom made thing it's the first thing that i own that says always jazzy on it so i'm super oh actually it's the second thing now that i think of it my sister also made me like a sticker that says always jazzy so i think it's my second thing if i'm forgetting something i would feel bad i don't think i own anything else with that on it though but i'll show you guys it's so cute it says confident genuine positive always jazzy it's not so cute. It's just like a little tote. It's super nice, though. So. I think it was so thoughtful, and I can't wait to use it. It's so cute. So, anyway, you guys, what else did I want to update? Oh, yeah. I want to update you guys on a lot of things, actually. So, Caitlin and I watched the Free Britney show last night, and it was super, super good. I, I will say I didn't learn anything from it. I don't think it did do a good job of kind of making Britney Spears look more like a human. Like, I've always never seen her that way because I didn't grow up when she was popular. So I didn't get to see her when she was like a genuine person. I only, not that she wasn't a genuine person while she was going through everything or even now, but I didn't get to see her before like everything with the paparazzi went down and all of that stuff. So. I saw her, but I was young. But I didn't learn anything new that I haven't already found on the internet. But if you don't know anything about the Free Britney, like, movement, you could say, I would watch it. Because it's really interesting. And, hi, baby. <laughs> and then I 
also wanted to update you guys on the food. So, Caitlin was hating on that food. And I tried it. It was so good. Literally, before she even left, I tried a wing completely cold. And it was delicious. And then Dominic and I ate the rest of the food. Like, the, there was, like, brisket. Brisket chili is what it was. Oh, my gosh. It was amazing. So, I don't know what she was talking about there. But <laughs> it was so delicious. And, uh, yeah, it was super yummy. So, anyway, it's a gloomy day out today. I don't really think I'm going to do very much. I probably am just going to... I'll probably put some makeup on so that I can, like, feel better or whatever. What do you want, kiddo? What do you want in your life? What? You want to play? Anyway, I'll probably put some makeup on just to, like, make myself... <laughs> okay, I gotta go, you guys. She wants to play so bad right now. She's so stinking cute. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I gotta put some makeup on and get this day started. So I will check back in with you guys probably a little later because I don't really have anything going on today. <laughs> so I'll check back in with you guys probably tonight. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a good week so far. I will see you later. <laughs> Hey guys, so I didn't end up putting my makeup on because I remembered I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so why put makeup on? And I've noticed that I've started to break out a little bit since I've started wearing makeup a little bit more. Oh my God, you guys, that was very terrifying. Um, <laughs> but I noticed that I started to break out a little bit since I've started wearing makeup more. So I'm like, why put makeup on if I'm not even really doing anything today? But... Yeah, so I didn't end up putting makeup on, but I did want to open this with you guys. So I kind of already like opened it up, but I didn't open like the actual package yet. But I ended up ordering Dominic some chocolate from Lindent. Is that, how do you guys pronounce that? Is it Lindent? L like, I think that's how you pronounce it, honestly. Lindent? Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, so I ended up ordering him some chocolate. And let's see, I kind of wrapped it crazy here so this was a mistake you guys that I ordered this many chocolates but it was only because I wanted free shipping <laughs> and the shipping was like I think it was like either 10 or 13.99 or something like that and that's just so much money that was literally like half of the amount that I wanted to spend on him like I thought I was just gonna buy like $20 worth of chocolate and it was way too expensive so I ended up ordering <laughs> You guys I ended up ordering 150 pieces of chocolate <laughs> but we'll eat on it for the whole year honestly I think I'll save some to like give him at different holidays or whatever but it's really cute so he opened the door of course when the mailman came I literally this was a whole fight you guys stay there and don't make any noise um this was a whole fight between him and I because literally I broke my foot or whatever I didn't break it I know I keep calling it a break so I had this whole foot issue and then I ordered him these chocolates and when they came in I got a notification so I was like hey I need to go downstairs and grab your gift for you it's at the door and he was like no like you're not going downstairs I'm not letting you do that and I was like well you're gonna have to do it then but I can't have you see the box because there's like, I know it's going to look like what it is, which I didn't know necessarily, but he's just really, like, sketchy when it comes to trying to figure out the gifts I got him. So, like, I knew, like, he'd probably shake it or something and give it away. And also, you just never really know if it'll, like, I don't know, say what it is on the front of it. And so, he was like, I'll shut my eyes, I'll shut my eyes. And I was like, okay, whatever, like, I'm not gonna, like, fight him on it because obviously he he wants to do something nice and go down and get them for me so I don't have to. But then he goes down and he brings it back up and I'm like, did you look at the box? Like, did you look or did you shut your eyes? And he's like, I had to look because I, I didn't know where it was. They left it on the side and he's like, so I know, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> he's like, well, they had like this big like tape on it that said that it was from the chocolate place. And I was like, of course, I knew they would. I knew that they would have something that would say what it was from. But anyway, that was the whole thing. I was so mad at him. I was like, we're returning him because he always ruins everything. And I just wanted it to be a surprise. And it just, it couldn't, you guys, it couldn't be a surprise, even though I wanted it to. So that was frustrating, but he has no idea what it actually is. <laughs> and it's like, it's a pretty big box, you guys. So I'm not returning them, obviously, because they are going to be delicious. So let's take a look at this box. 
It's like way bigger than I was expecting, to be honest. It's also nighttime, you guys, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Oh my gosh. So, this is the box that I got him. Like I said, it's 150 pieces of chocolate. How cute is it, though? He's going to love this. So, I might remove some, like I said, to give to him a different time, but I ended up ordering him. Oh, and then the reason I ordered it right from... Sorry about that, guys. The reason I ordered it right from Linden.com was because we really like the peppermint chocolate, like the one with like the peppermint pieces in it, and I couldn't find them anywhere online. I found them on Amazon, but everybody in the reviews on Amazon said that like they came in and they were all melted. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to order them from the site so that I know for sure. Oh, wow. So this is how full it is. Look at you guys. There's the thing, and then this is how full it is. It's literally full to the top, filled to the top. So I got him some strawberry cream. I don't know what is what, honestly. They're all like the same color. But I got him strawberry cream Valentine's Day flavor, which is literally it's uh, oh it's Lindor. Lindor. I wondered I wondered why I was gonna say Lindor when I said Linden. So what's the point? Why do they call what's the difference? I'm curious. Anyway, the chocolate the Valentine flavor is chocolate, like milk chocolate on the outside, and then white chocolate on the inside. And these are the peppermint ones. Oh my gosh, I need to put my hair back up because it, it legitimately looks so bad. So, that's better. But anyway, then I got him these, did I say this already? I got him strawberry, is this what it is? Yeah, strawberries and cream. I've never tried the strawberries and cream, so I'm going to try it right now for you guys. Because I read they only come around on Valentine's Day, and literally it's like, it's like a white chocolate with like, just strawberries blended throughout, so I'm excited. So good. He's going to die at those. Those are going to be his new favorite hands down mm. so yummy so highly recommend the strawberries and cream i have so many regrets i wish i would have ordered more of those because literally i only ordered 25 of them because i was like what if we don't like them and it's a waste of money but mm -mm -mm. and then unfortunately i ordered 25 just like plain white chocolate ones because we know we like those too but like that was a that was a mistake. I definitely should have ordered more of the strawberries and cream. That's what I got him for Valentine's Day. I don't really get him anything else yet. Um, I'll probably do something like sweet for him. Like we'll probably I'll probably bake him something or something. I don't know yet. But Valentine's Day is really like it's weird for us because it's around our birthdays and our anniversary at this point. Like our anniversary of getting engaged. So, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, we love Valentine's Day still. It doesn't change how much we love Valentine's Day. But I just don't know what else I could get him. So, we'll see. I'll probably make him something, like I said. Anyway, I'll check back in with you guys probably tomorrow at this point because Dominic is going to be on his way home soon. And he's supposed to hear some news that, I remember I said we were, like, celebrating last week? He's supposed to hear some news about that today. So, we'll see if he hears anything about that. But I will check back in with you guys tomorrow or the next day at some point i'll check back in with you guys some point this week and i will see you guys then hey guys so i forgot to end the vlog so i am doing that now but i did want to update you guys on my foot situation this dog i swear she is so deprived right now because we can't go for walks literally if i'm sitting down she's needing to be played with because i can't bring her out to do anything so she's very here. <laughs> she sounds crazy, right? She literally sounds like Chewbacca or some... Oh, Dominic's calling. Um, give me a second, you guys. I'm sorry. This always happens to me. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. I'm just going to end the vlog really quick. So, I am here to end the vlog. I just want to let you guys know my foot is feeling like quite a bit better. So that's a huge plus. So going into next week, hopefully my foot will be feeling a lot better my for videos favorite. and everything. Dominic really needs to get a hold of me, you guys. So I am going to have to end this video here, but I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, remember to subscribe if you aren't already. I love you and goodbye. <laughs>